we um, have all of these parameters bound and correctly promoted to our top level. So we can safely close our component editor and we can start working on things. Um, so I can go back up to the ohm component. And so let's just take a look and, and see why we do this. So now if I'm looking at knob one and I want to connect it to um, uh, maybe we want the first three controls here, one, two, three, to be controlling color one, two, and three here. I know, I know where my values are. Knob one is on the knobs page here, and it's right here. And so is this, and so is this. So a quick and easy way to, um, uh, to get at these parameters, it's much, it's much easier now. So I just need to use a parameter chop. And I can grab, uh, it's automatically coming from dot dot, but I can even type parent dot control expression. And now you'll see I've got all of my parameters, knob one, two, three. They're all here. And if I wanted to just get knob one, two, and three, I could just say knob one, knob two, knob three. And now I've just got my three knobs here. Okay, um, and it's even easier if you just type knob one dash three. Okay, um, so this this um, syntax is is cool because you can you can get one to eleven, so it's nice and easy to get your stuff, uh, and you don't have to worry about where your widget is located anymore. In fact, um, and let's just do one thing. So knob one two three. And let's just connect this to RGB. So I'm going to use a null. And I'm just going to export these guys. So export uh, knob one to color red, and then green, and then blue. OK. So um, <clears throat> now, uh, maybe we want to do some other customization as well, but uh, like maybe make this red, green, blue. That's totally going to be easy. Um, but let's take a look at something first. So I'm, I'm controlling red, green, and blue here. But let's look what happens if I delete my user interface. <laughs> right? So the user interface is now gone. I'm going to save this so it's easy to come back. If I delete my UI, nothing breaks in my system. Right? So we've separated the user interface from our um, from the, the network that we're building, right? So because everything's connected to the top level here via these via this parameter job. Okay? So if I if I undo, then it's back. So you'll see it's nice and clean. We've got our UI in a very clean location. We know where this is the, the user interface that um, the performer is going to use or um, or uh, you know something for an installation, a touch screen. Um, this is the, the nice user, the nice end user user interface that you're delivering to your to your client, um, to your users, and then this is where your parameters are located. This is your data, so this is where your data is located. This is this is just a bound user interface up to the parent. All your um, system is going to be connected to this to these values via parameter chops, or for that matter. Uh, uh, through uh, uh, references, so you know, good form in my opinion again is not to bind things here, because binding is really for connecting widgets to um, uh, to top level parameters. Uh, doesn't have to go that way, but this is what I've discovered to be the most clear methodology. So, um, for example, if you wanted this to be a level, or let's just do HSV adjust. And um, if we wanted to connect knob four to be the saturation, then all I would need to do is go to knob four. I could copy it, copy parameter, paste reference. It's not a bind because you're not binding to a widget. You're binding to a reference. You're, you're binding to a parameter. Um, and now that that's bound, OK? And the nice thing here is now I can write an expression. Like, for example, I could say, one minus if I want to, and that's nice and easy because you can't you can't use um, 
uh, you can't put expressions into um, uh, bound parameters. That, those are just for hard, hard references. Um, there, in my opinion, there's really not much value in having this bound other than the fact that you can come here and move this and it also moves there. But in my opinion, that's sort of, you know, um, uh, minimal uh, uh, benefit for what, I, in my opinion, is probably uh, a lot of confusion in the future. Your user interface should be bound to your top level parameters. Your system should be using uh, parameter chops and Python references and expressions uh, to be connected to the top level parameters. Um, and one last thing before we go is what if we wanted our knob one, two, three to be um, nicely colored uh, red, green, or red, green, and blue. So that's quite easy. I can go here into the parameters and without changing the name the name of the value, we can change the label. So you'll see the label right now is currently tied to the expression me.name, which is shared by the name. But if we want to change this label to be red, I can simply go turn off expression mode and call this red, right? It's not going to affect the value. It's not going to affect your bind. It's just a label. So, um, so that's a nice and easy thing to do. And then as well, if we wanted to come to the knob and change the level color, we could simply go red here, and we can repeat that for the other two. So red, red, green, well, that's fine. And then blue, uh, we can call this, oh yeah, we have to change the label. This will be blue. And change the color to be blue. And, um, Finally, the label here should be green. And then we've got red, green, blue, nicely isolated. And you can do the same thing for saturation. And you can see how you can start to, you know, really dial in the user interface with correct names and so on. Um, yeah, so that's binding in a nutshell. Uh, I hope you uh, have some luck figuring things out and uh, all the best.